this demonstration, we're going to have a quick look at seeing how we verify the Exchange Server 2010 deployment by using the Exchange Server Best Practice Analyzer. So this will be something we will run on a regular basis just to ensure that our server does conform to Microsoft's best practices. So in the Best Practice Analyzer, what I'm going to do here is just select some options for a new scan, specify my Active Directory domain controller and just connect through to this Active Directory server. This will then interrogate the Exchange specific settings. As you can see, we have three Exchange servers in our organization. I need to enter an identifying label for this scan, so I'm just going to call it Best Practice Scan. Make sure that all my servers are highlighted. I've got various different things that we can do on here. So the first one we have here is our health check. And what the health check will allow us to do is just ensure that everything does conform to all of the best practices. The other thing we have is our permissions check. So the permissions check here will just verify the permissions are properly configured on the various servers we have in our organization. Connectivity test just checks network connectivity to the selected server. And then a baseline check just allows us to select specific properties, configure baseline values for those properties, and then scan to see where we deviate. I'm going to go for a health check. I'm going to highlight all three servers. And I'm going to specify my LAN speed here. This doesn't really do anything. As you can see here, this scan will take approximately six minutes on a fast LAN, but I'm not telling it it's got a fast LAN. I'm just coming up with an estimate of time here. So I'm going to click on my start scanning. As we can see, it's going to take about six minutes. So at this point here, on sit and watch a blue ball move across the screen. I'm just going to pause the screen and return back once the scan is finished. OK, and there you go. Six minutes passed. So what we'll now do is we'll just view a report of this best practice scan. So my, my health scan. As we can see, we do have some problems within here. So if we click on this, we can see that Active Directory has an unrecognized exchange signature. Well, this is my test environment. If we have a look at all issues, we can see a number of issues on the various servers that we have in place. So we can see that we've got some problems with network drivers. Everything else, you know, just information, nothing uh, worrying. So if we have a look at the application log size, for example, we should really have this set to 40 megabyte or more. Any non-default settings that we have in place here. So for example, here, we've got a problem with the RPC binding order. These are all things that I should really, really check. Recent changes that we have in place, we can see that my exchange organization has recently changed. My offline address book has recently changed within here as well. Click on this and yet again, we get some information. Informational items, quite a few within here. It is information, nothing really to worry about. Just gives me information regarding the various components that go to make up my exchange organization. So that's under my list reports. We could have a look at tree reports as well, and this is gonna show us all config information about the Exchange Server Best Practice Analyzer and what it's collecting. If we then have a look at other reports as well, we can have a look here and see the runtime log display, information generated during the connection and analysis of my Exchange organization. So something to read through, something to fix. Fix all of this and I'll keep running this on a regular basis just to ensure I do conform. So that was the Best Practice Analyzer. That's the end of the demo. Thanks very much.